There's the ILX getting dropped off. Gonna go take it for a spin. Good evening from Phoenix. I just got a special delivery that's gonna be in my possession for seven days exactly. It is a 2019 Acura ILX Premium with the A-Spec package in a beautiful pearl white color. I've got it parked, of course, next to my 2013 model with 215,000 more miles than it. But it's gonna be interesting over the next seven days or just so to see how these two compare in terms of driving dynamics, fit and finish, luxury amenities, safety tech, and overall just kind of technology. Right off the bat, you can of course see the visual treatments that have enhanced the vehicle um, from the first version. Of course, now it's been through a, uh, actually two refreshes. In 2016 was the first mid-cycle refresh, and then now in 2019, it's getting a second one. But you can see that the overall shape of the vehicle is roughly the same. They do share relatively similar uh, cabin amenities and proportions. A spec. No A spec. Check out that interior. Got some red leather in here. 5,186 miles. That's fun. definitely feels like a different car. I enjoyed commuting in this thing. The stereo rocks. The uh, camera system and display is two times the size what I'm accustomed to. And really it's just, again, partially probably goes back to the fact that this has way fewer miles than mine, but it is such a smooth ride. Just about to pick up a friend for dinner. Thought it was very nice lighting for the ILX to get a quick walk around video. I do love the back end a lot on this car. And what's not to love about a beautiful A-spec interior? Look at the red, red and black two-tone seats, door panels. Of course, those A-spec accents, uh, the red stitching on the shifter and the steering wheel as well. It's kind of interesting being in this car because I really, it feels so much like my 2013, but at the same time, very different too. If you close your eyes, and I told my friend Josh this, if I actually was blindfolded in this car and just felt around, it would actually feel exactly like what I'm accustomed to, except for the fact that I don't have navigation in mine. And just notice how huge that rear view camera is. Mine is probably half the size and definitely not as good of clarity there. I guess I'm oblivious to this, but I just realized that the start button looks like this before you start it. It turns white, and then as soon as you hit it, check that out, bright red. Just run a couple errands here in the ILX. I had to laugh because I needed to leave this Healthy Choice steamer in the car, and I thought to myself, well, if anything, Phoenix is the kind of place where you can leave your microwave lunch in the car, and it's ready when you get back. This is for sure one of my favorite features. I love that this car has LED front turn signals. I just wish it had them on the back. See, it just doesn't match. We're just getting ready to wrap up my review on the 2019 ILX. I'm gonna give you a sneak preview. So this is the draft post that's going out. I'll go ahead and summarize the nitty gritty for you in case you're not much of a reader and you'd rather just see it handed to you on the uh, YouTube channel. This is kind of my overall summary. I think the car definitely delivers everything that I love about my 2013, uh, excepting of course for the clutch pedal, which is, as a manual transmission enthusiast, is a big 
um, drawback, but I recognize that the industry doesn't necessarily care much about sticks anymore. So here's the kind of cut and dry bullet point list of what I loved and didn't love so much about the ILX. The technology is definitely there. I love the backup camera. The audio system is definitely on point. The uh, styling enhancements that were made for 2019 are phenomenal. I really especially appreciate the back of the car. Uh, it's fun to drive dynamics. It's a really easy day-to-day -day cruiser, especially in traffic. And certain things that really are kind of like Easter eggs that I think Honda put in there, or Acura put in there, like the start button that changes color and just overall for price point, I felt like, you know, with an as tested of 32.5, I felt like this thing offers a lot. As far as things that it could stand to improve, the uh, inconvenient sort of way to hook up your iPod and uh, cigarette lighter for your phone charger. It's still located inside the center console, which is a bit bulky to, to lift up and navigate. The rear tra cross traffic alert, I found it to be very sensitive. There is inconsistent lighting with the front uh, turn signals being LED and the rear are halogen. The A emblem got a lot of criticism for being gigantic. I recognize that there's driver assistance technology embedded within that. Um, the, the black wheels, even though are all the rage these days, um, I'm still more of a silver slash even chrome kind of guy. And then uh, one thing that you'll notice on one of my pictures I put on Instagram, I have a side-by-side -side showing my ILX with upgraded LED license plate lights and the 2019 with halogen. And you can just kind of see the subtle upgrade that that would be if they were to just add some uh, LEDs to that. Uh, here's a quick comparo of the keys themselves. So as I mentioned, my 2013 key really early on started chipping away and then they made great, uh, great improvements to that with the uh, later models. So this has a lot more heft to it and it feels like it'll hold up better over time. So nice job on that. Overall, super cool ride. I enjoyed putting a few hundred miles on it and I hope you guys take the chance to check one out for yourself. Thanks for watching.